In this video I'm going to look at using R to uh, produce a, a box plot. Um, I've already installed R so I, I start it up however your system uses to start R. I need to worry about the data so I'm going to make a, a variable I'll call it data1 and I'll assign to that the concatenation of the data stream that I'm interested in. So maybe I've got some measurements, two, 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 uh, maybe some threes and a couple fours, a five, a six, a seven, and a nine maybe. Okay, so at that point, any time that I look at the variable data, then I get that vector that is the, the sample that I'm interested in. Now all I've got to do is call box plot, um, and I can look at data, and let me pull over the result that it produces, and there's the box plot. There's hardly <laughs> any tail down here, and then this long, long tail uh, up here. Let's do one more, just as a quick example. Suppose that we're looking at uh, data two, and I'll assign that to. That's a a listener, you, you can actually use an equal sign there instead of that other symbol. Uh, C, let's say we've got a 1, a 1, a 2, a 2, a few 3's, a couple 4's, a 5, a 7, and a 10. So there's my data 2. See, it still remembers data 1, actually. It uh, stores those as variables. So now let's look at a at a box plot of data two, and that ba box plot looks like this. Okay, so there's the two whiskers. This particular number ten is is an outlier, so it, the software is choosing to put that as an outlier. Okay, now that doesn't solve the problem of how to get this into your document, but it gives you. It shows you how R uses it, and it doesn't solve the problem of installing R, but it gives you an idea of what R can do.